and welcome to the COVID-19 Task Force Daily Update. I'm Joe Delarone. On today's program, well, if you uh, are keeping track on the calendar, a week from today, we could be open for business. So there's obviously lots to do and lots to talk about before that official announcement is made. And uh, to talk about that and everything else that has to do with uh, our situation is the Director of Public Safety, sorry, me, the uh, Commissioner of Public Safety, Lloyd Phillips. Lloyd. Thank you, Joe. It's only been 78 times <laughs> and you still get my, my title wrong. That's, that's, that's fine. Uh, thank you very much, everybody. Uh, glad to be here. I uh, can provide you with, with an update and uh, hopefully by tomorrow we'll have a, a much more substantial update for, for, for the community. But today I, I just wanted to, to touch on, on a, uh, a few key points uh, regarding uh, some of the discussion we had this afternoon. Obviously, you know, we're targeting uh, uh, June 1st as, as the opening date for business in, in the community. You know, all, all, the, all the pieces of the puzzles, puzzle, so to speak, are all in place. Uh, you know the uh, you know the, uh, the the machine is in is in motion, uh, and and what and we're really you know uh, gearing up to to, to move in, in in that direction. I know a lot of people in in the business field are certainly excited uh, about that opportunity, but on the flip side of that, you no, know, uh, we also understand that there are community members who who have raised concerns uh, about uh, you no know, business reopening in, in the community, uh, you know about you know uh, more people. In and around Ganawage, and you know, the, the, the potential exposure to you know, to to the virus, and so people have been have been raising raising concerns. And certainly, as a task force, we're we're not we're not oblivious to that. We understand that people uh, are concerned, uh, but that's why we're, we're taking uh, a very um, uh, I guess calculated steps in, in in the way that we are moving forward, uh, and, and you know, obviously underscoring health and safety of our community. You no, know, and as long as the proper safety procedures are in place. Uh, proper inspections are done, you know, and the, the employee, the employer, and the clients uh, abide by uh, uh, by whatever safety precautions are there. You know, the the risk of of, of transmission, you no, know, uh, remains low. So, you know, we're really working hard to to get that done uh, and put all the pieces of the puzzle uh, in in place, and and we'll continue to uh, look at the concerns of the community and, um, and make make the appropriate decisions. So. Uh, with that, you know, we also talk about one of the, the most important uh, parts of, of, uh, of remaining safe uh, in, in the community. Uh, obviously, that's the, the term of, that we'll be talking about from day one almost is uh, social distancing, physical distancing, you know, maintaining that, uh, that six feet uh, between you and, and the person next to you or, or the person behind you for that matter. Uh, you know, and that's something that you know, we want to uh, underscore and, 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 and that's going to be something that is going to be with us for uh, for months to come, you know the, the the virus itself. You know, even though we've seen uh, overall uh, the, the it's stabilizing, you no, know, uh, generally you no know, throughout the province and throughout Canada, uh, you know, you know the virus is, is still uh, still around us. You know, and and by maintaining measures and maintaining distancing is, is the way that we're we're gonna we're gonna minimize, uh, you know, any any of uh, of of that spread. Uh, so. Well, that's, that's what we, we talk about, you know, looking around the community and, and we observed o over the weekend and, and such that those a lot of people, unfortunately, you know, were not re uh, respecting uh, uh, physical distancing, social distancing, you know, in Ganawage, you know, we observed some stuff, you know, uh, in, in the city and in Chattagui, you know, very similar. And I'm sure some of you have seen on the news in Toronto, there was some major concerns raised at some, some, some parks where they were basically you know, crowded, um, just, just like a, almost like a fairground. So that causes you no know, con concerns uh, across the board, but more locally at, at home, that's where that's why we we have been really you know, working hard to uh, not only just you know, try to tell people what to do, but we want to educate people and say this is what why it's important. It's it's a, it's important that we that we keep that physical distance and everything that we that we, we try to do to minimize that spread. Because the one weakness that the virus does have is is that transmission. You know, if I'm speaking to you or somebody's speaking to you, it doesn't have the ability to go beyond six feet. So that's why you know, we, we want to always maintain that, that, that distancing. And now that you know, we, we've been talking about, about that for some time, you know, moving forward, you know, it, again, it comes more and more of, of individual you know, responsibility for, for you to take uh, what, what we've been, we've been uh, trans, uh, transmitting to you and, and, and use that you know, more in, in your day-to-day your -day lives you know, to make decisions that are, are, are best for you and obviously, obviously you know, best 
uh, to our community. No, and again, on, on the score of fact that you no know, physical distancing, you know, is you no know, paramount in, in everything that we do. Hand sanitization, hand washing is also obviously extremely, extremely important. Because I want to say that clearly, because part of the next thing I want, I want to talk about is some of the discussion we had today, and uh, you know, regarding um, you no know, social interactions. Uh, about, about gatherings. We know a lot of people have been asking the, the task force and asking, uh, you know, about when can I visit somebody, when can I get together with friends or families, uh, and, uh, you know, and asking for some guidance or some direction on that. So, so it was dis discussed today and, and taking into consideration many factors, uh, including the, you know, the forecast for, for tomorrow, you know, for the next 10 days or so, it looks like it's going to be gorgeous uh, summer-like weather. So we know people are, are going to want to get together in, 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 with, with friends and family. And what we're going to be saying today, and we'll formalize this tomorrow in terms of, of, of written instructions, but, but we are going to be looking to say people can gather, you know, a maximum of eight people, but the social distancing requirements must remain. That's going to be extremely important. So uh, if you're going to have people over to your back deck or in, in your yard, that's fine, but make sure that you always make sure that you are maintaining uh, that physical distancing. And it's outside only. If you have a nice deck, if you're lucky enough to have a nice deck at home, you use your deck, you know, if not, you know, your, 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 your backyard or wherever, to, to ensure that, that you are, are maintaining that distance. At least that way you have somebody who is there who can, uh, who, who can be you know, across the yard or, 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 or across your porch, where you, you can at least have that uh, interaction with maybe face-to-face uh, -face for the first time, you know, with, a, with a friend or a loved one that, 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 you, that you want to inter interact with. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a major change in terms of, of you know, allowing these things to take place in, in a safe and proper manner, because we would rather have people you know, do these sort of things in, in a safe and proper manner, respecting the physical distancing, you know, rather than people just doing it, uh, you, know, you know, despite whatever directors are in place and doing it in an unsafe manner. So, so please, we're asking people, you know, take this, you know, you know um, in a way that is positive, so that, that you do have that ability to interact with individuals, you know, at a safe distance and, and able to see friends and family, you know, face to face rather than, you know, through, through stuff like this, you know, uh, Facebook or through a messenger or whatever else that, that you may use. So that, that's, that's going to be something we, we, we want to be a positive for our community. Again, it's individual you know, responsibility to ensure whatever you do in your, in your privacy of your own yard you know, is, is certainly your business, but we're asking people to do it safely because you know, what you do in your, in, in your own household obviously is, is your business, but that could definitely impact you know, the entire community you know, in, in, in one way or another. You know, you know, we do believe that the community is, is much more knowledgeable, knowledgeable now than they were previously, you know, regarding uh, what all these measures mean. They understand why they were put into place, uh, and, but they also understand that you know, there's, there's an evolution that needs to happen. People want to be, inter you know, people, it's human nature to be uh, social, it's, it's, it's human nature to want to, to, to be with friends and families and, 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 and have that, uh, you know, that, that, uh, that, that cycle, you know, cycle support that you need from, from friends and family. So it's, it's, it's important to, to have that, that aspect. And we recognize that because uh, just as much as the physical health and concerns over you no know, people you no know, contracting the virus, which obviously is, is, is a major concern, but we're also concerned for the mental well-being of, of, of our community members. And by being able to so socialize in, in, a, in a different manner, but a better manner than just, just, just FaceTime, it certainly helps you know, relieve uh, some of that, that stress, some of that anxiety, you know, and, and uh, hopefully it's, it's a small measure you know, and, uh, that is being modified so that we can take those steps and, and you know, one small step towards becoming a more normal state. We know we're in this for a long haul. We know this virus is not going away for, for the long, long term. So we've got to prepare ourselves mentally and physically, and this is one way in which we could, uh, we could move in, in that direction. So again, tomorrow we'll, we'll have that more formally. You know, maybe I'll get, get a couple of posters out you know, to, for individuals to look at to see what we, we really mean, some examples of, of how you could, um, how you could you know, have people over but still maintain that physical distancing. Uh, one idea that, that was thrown out is again, like I mentioned last week, you know, people set a timer you know, for, for on, on your phone that beeps every hour, every hour that, you know, that's the time for me to wash my hands. Same thing if you're gathering with a group, because we know it's, it's a natural progression for people to you know, start off at 15 feet apart and then over time you're, you're, you're gradually getting closer. 
and before you know it, you know, you're, you're inside that, that six feet. So again, if you set a timer that, to go off every, say, half hour or so, just to remind yourself, oh, it's been 30 minutes, let me check, make sure that, 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 that we're maintaining that distance. If not, obviously, t you know, take, uh, take corrective measures a, a, as quickly as possible. So just some small ideas like that may, may help uh, ease, ease, people, ease, ease people's mind, but, you know, and being safe, you know, being social, but also you know, ensuring that uh, you know, the, the well-being of everybody involved is, is taken to, in, into consideration. So we'll be back tomorrow with, with some more information on that, as well as some more information on, on the ongoings of the task force, including looking at some of the more information regarding the, the business reopening. So with that, uh, have a good day and onigawahi. All right, thanks Lloyd. Obviously a, a busy and uh, important day here at the task force and here in Gahnawaga as we uh, you know, get closer to a date of possibly opening up. Uh, just a couple of notes if you are one of those who will be gathering, and I'm sure many of you will in groups of eight or, or less. Uh, remember, there are, if you're over 70, it's asked that you still remain away from all of that type of socializing. So you're best to just use Zoom, FaceTime, Facebook, telefo telephone, uh, whatever else, because uh, you are at that point the um, vulnerable population. Uh, also, if you're having a barbecue or something like that, make sure you don't share food. Make sure you're not at the, you know, do everything possible to make sure that there's less, uh, very little, no contact, as a matter of fact, with, uh, you know, if you're barbecuing, use the old flipper on there, put it on the bun. Chips are something that's, uh, something that's uh, very difficult. So make sure you have individu individual uh, containers for all of those types of things. It's just... Uh, common sense at this point. On tomorrow's program, over the past, uh, let's see, it's been 86 programs now. We have talked about COVID-19, we've talked about all the actions that are taken, all of the problems. One thing we have not had on this program is somebody who actually has contracted COVID-19 and has lived through it and has dealt with it. That's going to be on tomorrow's program. We invite you to watch uh, tomorrow's update. So right now, on behalf of everybody here at the COVID-19 Task Force, we thank you for your time, and uh, be safe and be healthy, folks. We'll see you next time. Yaoko adano onigiwahi.